I'm Maud Garrett for the Project Australia. Oh, yes, what up? Hi guys, why aren't you clapping? What's going on? Hi! So I'll do the, the pretentious oh, like, quality oh, thing. Don't. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to actually talk about shooting. This didn't mm. look easy at all. You're either underwater, submerged, or in like sodden, drenched clothes. Mm. Are you kind of over the whole beach thing? Chris kind of creates this world for you where you don't have to act that much. I yeah. think he, he kind of tries to make it so that he's capturing kind of natural reactions to stuff. And I think in general, everyone's focus was more so than any kind of personal discomfort. Um, I think as hard as, as it would ever be on set, everyone was very aware of how in comparison to what obviously people would have been through, it was nothing. And we you know, got to go home and shower at the end of the mm. day and uh, that obviously makes it much easier to deal with. But I think everyone wanted to make this movie as, as good as it could possibly be. It's such an important piece of history and Chris is so passionate about it. And, I think that's infectious and people kind of want to work harder for him and, and no one's no one's kind of there wasn't really any room for kind of complaining or anything like that. No, I think everyone's uh, everyone that works on a Chris Nolan film is there because they really want to be there. Because yeah. otherwise you wouldn't you wouldn't put yourself through the harsher conditions that he goes through when he's filming. That's kind of you know, that's with all of his films. There's never I can't think of a film which hasn't been which he's done which hasn't been a challenge to film and done in quite um, strange kind of climates and all the rest of it. So, people that are there and that are there and work on his films um, are definitely there for a reason, and they're there because they believe in him and his projects, and they're very passionate about his films. So yeah, I was I was fine with being on the beach for a bit and getting a bit wet. It's no problem. A bit wet. Um, let's talk about the whole this being on a Chris Nolan film is a challenge. It sounds like it was a challenge from the get-go, from like the audition process. You guys were kept in the dark about what you were even auditioning for. Tell me all about that. We knew that it was a Chris Nolan film uh, because he was very present in the casting decisions. He was there from the second audition. Um, and we knew that it was about Dunkirk. Huh? Where did you throw up when you saw Chris Nolan in the room? Uh, I was actually it's amazing if it wasn't his film, but he was yeah. just there. Yeah, During yeah. the whole audition process, he was like, oh, right, he's like uh, I'm off now. Yeah, that'll be really good. And Harry, you're a slashy now? Congratulations. I'm a slashy. You know what a slashy is? Is it like a musician slashy actor? Yes. Is that what it is? Slash actor. I'll take the slash. I'm and very uh, proud. Yep. Finn, you're a, a movie star now. When's your album coming out? Um, <laughs> as soon as Harry agrees to write it with me. Yeah. Done. Alright, well that's on tape. Um, what was it like working together? So you've been obviously on a very, very intimate set. Uh, the themes are very fear, intimate. fleeing, chaos. Like that's obviously very exhausting. And now you're doing press together. Have you kind of formed like a brotherly bond? You look like you're about to hold hands. Very close. <laughs> I think um, I think the thing was yeah. was that it was it was really exciting to kind of explore obviously the relationship between the two characters and how uh, the tension would build in, in how each character would obviously react differently to what they thought their role was going to be in the war and the reality of what the war was really like. Uh, and I think exploring that was kind of the, the most fun part for us. Mm, absolutely. I hate when people try and pigeonhole us. I mean, it's just, 